Okay, hello YouTube, uh, Kevin here, and uh, by the way, this is not like, this is just my service keyboard, uh, type cover, I mean, and uh, so as you know, I have two iPod Nano, um, second chance, one is a um, silver 2 gigabyte that's in a blue case, which actually happens to be this one here, take out the charger, yeah, so this is the silver 2 gigabyte in the blue case. I have a silicon case all over that. And yeah, I know it's missing the plastic and the metal shield on the bottom. As well as the um, plastic on the top. The whole switch is broken, but it's okay for me. I don't really use this much. I mostly listen to music on the phone. <laughs> and I have another one which is really, it's actual blue 4 gigabyte. Uh, no tricks there. However, the battery on that is dead and will not take a charge. Well, I, I actually got this idea. I would actually give the uh, that uh, blue 4 gigabyte with the broken battery. I'd give that to mom. And turns out she liked it. She don't, she doesn't use her iPod at home or whatever. She just leaves it in the car. And which actually damages the battery. However, um, it actually, um, does, um, okay, what was it? Oh, yeah, it actually, this one actually still has a, a pretty good battery charge in it. If I let mom continue using this, the battery will eventually die and not hold the charge. <laughs> so, again, um, I actually gave, uh, mom my... Uh, 4 gigabyte one. Not only does it have uh, more capacity and a dead battery, so can, she can just keep leaving it in her car, but instead, um, I actually also gave her some of my songs and uh, was able to actually uh, copy all my songs over here uh, because I actually have my Raspberry Pi server, so what I did was I asked Dad to turn on my iMac over at home, and uh, uh, so I will actually copy. Uh, okay, anyways, I'm sorry about this. Uh, but I'm actually distracted by the TV show I was watching on TV. <laughs> anyways, uh, so that's why I keep forgetting what to say. But I actually copied all my music to the F to my Raspberry Pi FTP server, and from there I copied all over. I copied all of them over from the Raspberry Pi server over to my Surface Pro. And then from there to my external hard drive and then to mom's laptop, which has iTunes already installed. <laughs> so I actually set up. And then you know something? She actually gave me her silver 2 gigabytes. She kept her um, sil uh, pink silicon case with her. And gave me this. And uh, <laughs> actually, after... And I want to show you something pretty cool. Let me just um, take this out here. Okay. Now with the box, the, ins the inner paper of the box is missing. But however, I get all the original documentation and the uh, never used Apple stickers. I also get the adapter for the uh, Universal Dock, which I do not have, but I am planning to buy, but as of now, I don't have enough money to do that. Um, so that's the Universal uh, Dock adapter. Uh, that's all the original accessories. It never came with a uh, USB cable or earphones. However, it came with this um, third-party um, FM transmitter. It doesn't have a brand on it. And then it also came with a um, Apple radio remote knockoff. Uh, if you didn't know, Apple actually made an official uh, radio remote accessory that plugs into the uh, 30 pin uh, dock connector port. And then uh, you could select radio from the iPod uh, menu and then uh, listen to radio. However, this is different. Uh, it doesn't have. It doesn't put a radio option in the main menu, unlike the official Apple. Uh, version instead you have to switch this switch from music over to radio and then uh 
you will actually put an OK, uh, you will put a custom OK to disconnect graphic with the radio graphics. And the radio graphics look like as though it was a red, uh, standard uh, FM radio with an LCD screen. And then the LCD screen data from that has been routed through the uh, 30p dock connect to another chip and then to the uh, 30 pin uh, port so that you'll actually program a uh, project one would have been on the LCD screen or the radio onto the uh, uh, OK to disconnect graphic. So I have my custom iPod here and uh, let me just wake this up here full battery and uh, I'll just plug this in here. And when I plug this in, it actually takes it to the music screen. And okay, this is weird. Focus. Okay, because my uh, iPod LCD timeout, it's actually paused, but it's still playing. So I need to pause that menu. Uh, right now it's in music mode. Okay, watch when ha what happens when I flick it over to radio. Oh wait, I need to um change my backlight timeout. I'll change it back later, but watch what happens when I switch it over to radio. Focus. There it is. It's a custom uh okay to disconnect graphic. And uh, I can press the buttons on the radio to uh, change the thing. I press the play button to tune it, I believe. So that sets it to uh, memory mode. I've forgotten how to set the memory settings for here. I think you just hold down the play button. But there, that's the um, custom graphic. Of course, with this OK to disconnect graphic, uh, you cannot press. You will disable the buttons on the iPod, so it doesn't use Apple's. Um, uh, it doesn't work the same way as the Apple um, official radio add-on. Let me switch it back to music. It switches back to the menu. I can press play, and it'll actually play music. And by the way, ignore the two forty-five a.m. Uh, somehow my iPod um clock uh the clock on my iPod somehow decided to drift. It's not two for it's not two forty four a.m. It's one uh fifty two p.m. So um that's the a Apple uh radio remote knockoff. And uh, here's the little um uh, okay. Anyways, you can't really see it, but um. This some um, silver two gigabyte iPod is actually, uh, immaculate condition, uh, except for the dirt. It was all. It has always been used in a case before prior to this, and I hope I can uh, try and sell this um back in Singapore. I'm not gonna keep this silver one. I'll continue using my custom iPod. But anyways, yup, it's true, I have an immaculate condition iPod Nano 2nd generation now. I am uh, actually planning to buy a new old stock uh, screen protector and then uh, put, a screen, uh, put a new screen protector on here that covers the wheel and the back also. Uh, kind of uh, to protect it even more. So yeah, that's it and bye. This is Kevin signing off.